Happy Tuesday. How's everyone doing? Welcome back to Budget with the Johnsons. Um, I haven't been able to post a video lately because there's been a lot going on. I need to uh, record um, my March budget. I know, I'm already in March. Um, February, going pretty good. I did receive an email. My credit score went up. Yay, I'm happy. That is my main thing I'm working towards is getting my credit better. Um, paying off debt, which we're tackling one debt at a time. Not trying to do too much. Not trying to become overwhelmed. Um, we just have a lot going on. And I pray that it continue to go smoothly. But I know that there will be some bumps along the way. Sorry for the way I'm sounding. I am a little under the weather. I live in Texas. It's raining. It's cold. One minute it is in the 70s. Next minute it's in the 30s. So we just never know what the weather will be. But yes, uh, budgeting is going good. I'm so glad that I started following Shea Budgets and uh, Eva Shell and Uh, some more ladies here on YouTube that I cannot think of their names right off top, but they have really inspired me to budget. And taking tips from each one of them has really helped me. And I just pray that when you watch my videos, it helps you. That's my main thing. I just want to inspire somebody, encourage somebody, and show them, you know, even though that you're living on a fixed income, you still can budget, you still can save, you know, it may take some time, but you have to start somewhere, you have to crawl before you walk. Um, along with using my Happy Planner, I also write all my bills, their amounts, um, the due date. I write all of that out on a piece of notebook paper before I even write it in my Happy Planner. Also, I use the Every Dollar app, and that really has helped me uh, monitor my spending and how much I'm paying out and keeping track of the income and everything like that. It's a really good help, uh, app. I recommend that app. Um, but, yeah... I'm really doing good, and I'm really proud of me and my husband. We are sticking to it, and it has made me more disciplined because we went to the mall for Valentine's, and I refused to go with JCPenney <laughs> because I'm paying off my JCPenney card, and I'm like, ooh, I can go to Sephora. I can buy some concealer or makeup brushes or I can go and buy some more workout clothes or whatever the case may be and I'm like nope I'm not even going in there so I have really became very disciplined when it comes down to spending money one thing we have eliminated is fast food if we do stop we make sure we get something off the dollar menu we are not trying to spend seven dollars a meal um, that's like 21 plus tax by $22, $23 for three people. No. <laughs> that money can go somewhere else. So we've been doing real good. I think we mainly just <sighs> spent a lot of our money on uh, chicken nuggets from <laughs> Burger King while they was on for a dollar. Now that that sale is over, no fast food. <laughs> Um, I didn't even want to go out to eat for Valentine's. I want, I wanted my husband to save. Uh, we are currently taking, uh, Christian education classes. And so that is $255 per person. And so, you know, we had to save and budget for that along with study material and, you know, gas getting back and forth to our church and just a lot of stuff going on. And so we, we have learned how to budget and not spend just because we have the money. 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come and give a mid-month update. Um, finances are looking good. Saving is looking good. Um, just really being disciplined and taking care of business and paying off debt. So I hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day. If you're somewhere where it's cold, I hope you're staying warm. If you're somewhere where it's raining, I hope you're staying dry. Um, if you're somewhere where it's warm, I hope you're staying cool. But I just hope and pray that you're having a good day. And let's continue to budget and save and get out of debt.